My pellet stove will not light. The blower comes on, but blue light flashes four times, pellets. Hello. Okay, first if this is actually a Heatilator brand, I will need the model number. Yes. Model number, is it PS35? I believe it's a cab 50. Okay. The blue lights only show up within the first 10 seconds after plugging in the stove, correct? Correct. Can you verify for me, by unplugging the stove for 30 seconds, then plugging in the stove, and watching the flashing blue lights? I need you to verify how many blinks there are in each sequence. Blink, blink blink pause etc. Yes. There is also an internal blue light located in the control box. When you plug in the appliance the blue light will automatically start blinking. For model PS35 the blue light should flash 6 times every 10 seconds for the first 60 seconds, after power up. For models PS50 and Cab50 it should blink 2 times. The setting on the control box should be 2 blinks every 10 seconds. How do you change it? It blinks 4 times pauses then 4 times. There is a small dial on the control box that you can turn with a small screwdriver. Has this been serviced recently? Has the stove worked with the 4 blinks? It was yesterday and it was blinking the four times. I am not sure why the stove would be set at a setting of four. That would generally be configured for a different model since the manufacturer uses this control box in many different models. However this may or may not be the problem you are having with the stove not lighting. So first I would like you to change the setting to 2 before we proceed with the next step. Are you able to change it? Turn screw counterclockwise. Unplug the appliance. Using number 2 Phillips screwdriver, 3 8 wrench, or 3 8 socket loosen the 3 screws that hold the right upper and lower side panels in place. You do not need to remove the screws. Remove side panels by lifting up and out. Use a number 2 Phillips screwdriver to remove the control box retainer bracket and lift control box out of the junction box. Using a 1 quarter inch flathead screwdriver turn the rotary switch until the desired number is showing on the dial. Reinstall control box and plug in appliance. To confirm your selection is correct count the number of times the blue light flashes. Sorry, it doesn't matter which direction you go, if you can see inside the dial, you will see a small number indicating 2. Ok it's blinking twice now. Ok. Now, are you familiar with the red call light on your stove? There is a red light on. Ok, with the red light on, this means it's calling for heat. Is any blower coming on? Where are we at in the lighting sequence? Yes the blower is running and the blue light only blinks twice. Is the auger feeding any pellets into the stove fire pot? No. The door is closed, the hopper lid is closed, and there are pellets in the stove? Yes. Do you see snap disk number 2 on your stove? Yes. 
Unplug the stove and push the button on the back side of this snap disc to see if it has been tripped. You may hear a click when resetting this disc. Do you have a manual? HTTP colon slash www.hearthhome.com slash download slash install manual slash 7058 underscore 142 dot pdf No manual and they didn't seem tripped. Okay, I gave a link to a manual. There are several things that can cause no pellets to drop. Do you have a multimeter and knowledge of using it? Yes. The most common cause of no pellets feeding is a dirty or plugged up stove or chimney. Not enough air flow through the stove. The vacuum switch needs to close to tell the auger to come on. Can you jump the wires on the vacuum switch to see if this is the problem? I bought the stove used and put all new piping on it. It ran fine all through the night. Just so you know this is 120V power going through the vacuum switch, so you will need to be careful with the jumper, and unplug the stove when doing this. Could be a blocked rubber tube going to vacuum switch, maybe something jammed in the auger, not letting it turn. We need to find out if the power is getting to the auger motor or if it's being stopped by either the vacuum switch or limit switch number 2. There is also a magnetic switch on the hopper door, that can cause an interruption of power to the feed system if it's either out of place or the hopper lid is propped open. Okay I broke the little tang of the snap switch so I'll call the repair guy. Thanks for your help. Oh my. Okay, hopefully it won't be too much trouble for the fix. Thanks for using Just Answer. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.